Hi you guys, this is Carmen with Connect with Angels. How are you guys? I wanted to do a video of something I've been doing and uh, if you know me, I'm always talking about the chakras and um, this is another way that you guys can go ahead and do like before you do your meditations or in the morning when you wake up, uh, at night before you go to bed or just when you're wanting to work on particular meditations, you can go ahead and do this. So what I did is I bought seven bottles. They're glass bottles that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if Michaels has it. I've seen bottles at Ross. I've seen them also at uh, TJ Maxx. Sometimes they come in uh, sets. It'll be like a set of six. There's always one missing. So if you buy the six, you would have to go find the other color, whatever color's not there. So what I did is I went to Hobby Lobby because I'd seen them there. And I waited till they were 50% off. So I have the this big bottle right here. It's a good size. Um, this one normally would cost you $7.99. And it already comes with a top attached to it and all you have to do is flip this and the little cork comes out this way and then just to seal it I wish I would have bought them all this way um, and then you go ahead and do that and uh, so this is $7.99 so could you just picture how much it would have been this is $7.99 and these are $4.99 so that's five dollars. So I have five of this. That would have been twenty dollars, and sixteen would have been thirty-six dollars. But because I bought them when they were half off, I paid eighteen dollars for all of these. And uh, so what I do these, the other ones are just a little bit smaller. So you can see there's the size comparison. This is almost like an olive oil. It reminds me of that, the olive oil. So let me see there we go there and this one comes with a corkscrew now remember um, you can buy corkscrews like wine and put them in there but they have to fit these are already starting to fall apart on me and sometimes they get like the smell to them so that's why I wish I would have gotten these instead so what I did is so I bought the seven colors I have the red for the root chakra, the orange for the sacral, the yellow for the solar plexus, the green for the heart, the blue for the throat. I have the, um, what I tried to get as close as to indigo, so a dark purple for the third eye. And then I have the violet for um, my crown chakra, or you can use the clear one if you'd like. Then I also went and I bought some quartz crystals and they're just like little spikes of quartz that I purchased off eBay and um, I was really contemplating if you know if I wanted to go all the way and buy each quartz that is or each crystal that could be associated with any of the chakras. Uh, for each particular chakra, like a bloodstone, if I wanted, or um, you know, any black stone, uh, if I wanted to buy, like a carnelian for the sacral, and um, I wanted to buy um, so yellow. It would be any yellow for this one, and citrine, uh, peridot, or you know, anything for the heart, blue celestite any amethyst and quartz or did I just want to go ahead and get the master crystal and if you know about um, the quartz the quartz is a master crystal so you can use it for anything so what I did is I bought a bunch of them and I think I didn't even pay no more than five dollars for a handful off eBay of these little crystals and um, so I bought all these and of course I cleared the quartz crystals what I did with the quartz is I brought them home I went ahead and I poured water over them then I did my incense where I run them over my incense and let the incense clear them the smoke 
Then I put them outside in a bowl to clear, and what was great was the fact that it started raining that day, so the uh, rain went ahead and cleared them there. And I like putting them on the dirt. So I had them on the dirt so that they could, you know, be charged, and I just asked for the uh, crystals to be charged to their fullest potential for my highest good uh, because I was going to be using them for the bottled waters, um, bottles full of water to balance my chakras and so that they could please amplify the water. So then what I did is I grab my bottle, I'm out of this one. So if you have filtered water, or your sink can filter the water, or if you have spring water, I buy the Ozark because it's supposed to be, I think Ozarka, it's supposed to have natural spring water, or you know, put your water in here. I have to buy my water because our water tastes like fish. I live in Texas, so we have droughts. So I'm pouring the water in here, and I like to pour them all the way to the top being careful here but could you just picture or you could buy the big bottles of water that and use them to pour it over your bottles because if you buy the little individual bottles it's going to get expensive and the um, Ozarka water sells a big one for 99 cents so you can go ahead and do that so, pour it in there. And as you can see, one bottle, and it, I still have left over, but it filled it all the way to the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the crystal in here. I'm going to allow them to fall. Make sure you wash your hands too. So I put the crystal in there. And the reason I put the crystal afterwards is because the water creates a little cushioning as it's falling down. Had I placed the crystal first, it probably would have broken if it hit the glass. So we don't want to do that. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place it outside. Uh, some people say you can do it for an hour. Some people say you can do it for a day. Allow the moon, allow the sun to charge it. Of course, I like to place mine around my garden with the plants and um, the earth, allow the earth to touch it. And uh, I have a thing, it's got to be three days for me. Uh, whatever you feel is appropriate for you, that's what you, I would suggest that you go ahead and do and um, so I bring them in and you know you can do a light prayer you could ask your angels if you believe in uh, sprites if you uh, believe in um, elementals you know like little sprites and fairies and little energy that's outside I told you I didn't used to believe in stuff like that till I started seeing stuff as I'm working on my garden so I know that there's energy that helps you you know outside so you can ask ask the divine light ask God ask your angels to help you charge the the water so that it can help you balance your chakras and so you can go ahead and do that and bring it home and uh, once you're done charging them you can take a, a couple zips I, I take like three four per one so by the time you're done it's like you drank a whole thing of water so you can do that in the morning to help you start your day you could do it at night so your chakras could be balanced. Uh, you could do it before you meditate. Uh, as I've stated, uh, it's very important to balance your chakras because if your, your chakras start going off whack, each chakra is associated with not only the area that it governs and organs and uh, parts of your body, like the neck, and you know the organs, the limbs around here, the throat. Uh, not only do they govern that, but they also govern personality traits. So if um, you know you're afraid of speaking in public, or you're afraid, um, you, you know you don't talk much because you're timid. Uh, you might want to work on that and drink um, 
you know, out of the blue uh, glass jar. These are glass. Make sure you check them too when you buy them. Make sure you look, make sure they're not broken because when I first bought them, I just grabbed them and I brought them and one of them was broken. So make sure that you do check that and that they wrap them so when you bring them home, they don't break, uh, I'll, you know, with the constant banging as they're in the car, wherever you have them. Uh, so if you need to work maybe on your communication, uh, and if you saw my color lamp where I made the color lamp, you can associate both. You can drink that, allow the lights to hit you, and so you're getting a double whammy there, or you could do one, each one individually, um, you know, do the water only, or you could do the lamps, or you can do both. Um, so let's say you want to work on the communication, maybe it's out of balance, maybe you just talk too much, because there's also a, there's a thing of it being undercharged where you're not talking too much and you're timid and you always want to hold your tongue and you know it actually does bring stress on your throat and it does affect you your health wise when you don't start listening to your body and you're shutting down you're going to start creating diseases and so it's important to be balanced and cleared and let's say i want to develop also what you can go ahead and do one thing um, if you know my daughter, she's really, she can connect with her angels just like that. Um, so we were talking and she was saying that her angel was telling her, if you want to work on your throat chakra to open the, uh, um, I guess you work on the throat for the clear audience too. Um, what you can do is gargle some salt. So, you know, you can drink this, gargle some salt. I would gargle for about a minute and just sit there and gargle. And that also helps eliminate uh, the throat block and it helps open. Now, what might work for me might not work for you. So this is not gonna work for everybody. Everybody's different, everybody's energies are different. So that, say I wanna work on my third eye. And are, are you ready to see the truth are you ready to see what's out there uh, so if you want to work on your third eye and seeing maybe getting inspired you can drink out of this water and you can also put some lemon like grab some lemon fresh lemon and rub it on your third eye to help open your third eye uh, this is another thing the angel said uh, say so you want to open up to God and you want to work on your crown chakra then you can go ahead or maybe you have ailments with your side or you have ailments with your head you can drink this uh, this is one of the I feel one of the most important is the heart chakra uh, so if you maybe have a broken heart you went through a relationship a hard relationship um, and your heart's broken or you need to learn to love yourself the number one thing is that people always try to find love that they're lacking within from someone else. They're never going to give you the love you're needing. I mean, they might, and you might become dependent and need it, needy upon that love. But you also have to understand that you need to love yourself in order to receive the full capacity of the love. You have to love yourself. And one thing the angels are always telling me is you were created out of love. You are love. And you need to realize that every day. Look in the mirror and say, I am love. I am loved. I'm special. Because you are. You're here. You, there's not like Mr. Rogers, but there's nobody out there like you. And there's only one you. And you're here for a purpose and you're that special you as you like I always say you know you might be a cashier at a grocery store and somebody might be like my daughter's friends a cashier she's like I'm just a cashier no you're not you talk to people you know you man I remember I would see this guy at Walmart he had the biggest smile he always made me smile every time I went he always made me smile. I just got so happy when I would see him. And one time I saw him and he wasn't smiling. And that was the day, I, actually, that day I went in. Before I went in, I said, you know, if he's there in the garden center, I'm going to go ahead and tell him that I love his smile. I hope he doesn't think I'm flirting with him because I'm not. But that I love his smile and that he always just cheers me up seeing him with that beautiful smile. 
So I go in and I see him and he's not smiling that day. And I'm like, he's, I said, oh, you know, I see that you're not smiling. And usually when I come in, you have the biggest smile. And he said, well, kind of down, you know, I have a engineering degree and here I am working at Walmart and you know I want to be an engineer I can't seem to find a job I've been looking for a year and and I said oh I said well you know what you always make me smile every time I see you you just make me so happy and today was the day I guess I was being guided by my angels so you see how you're always guided it was meant to happen he was meant to hear that message that day and I said I just want to let you know that I just love your smile don't get down you're gonna get your job when the time is right, you're going to get your job. It's waiting for you, okay? And he just gave me the biggest smile. And guess what? Like a month later, I didn't see him anymore. So I guess he got his job because he'd been working there for over a year. But see, he made me happy. Every time I went to Walmart and I would see his smile, he cheered me up. He, to me, he wasn't just a cashier. There was something about him. And there's you know everybody everybody's got something okay and so I really recommend drawing this now there's people that love themselves a little too much uh, humble yourself I mean it's great to love yourself but remember to return that love to others too okay um, so let's say you want to work on your clear sentience then you would drink for the solar plexus or maybe you're having the stomach problems like uh, I always get ulcers I'm a worry wart and so maybe I want to work on that so I drink plenty of this uh, solar plexus maybe you're wanting creativity uh, you know this is the reproduction the creation of everything it's not just sexual creation it's also creation of whatever you want to create art uh, business a garden whatever you need this the root this is another one that I feel that a lot of people need to um, do um, the root you need security you need to be securing yourself you this is another one too and I always I'm always told to go outside the best way to balance your root chakra is go outside and step on nature step put your bare feet on the ground and feel the dirt feel the grass make sure there's no ants around or no insects I don't want you to get attacked by uh, bugs and stuff um, and feel it and just breathe in through your roots breathe it in and know that this earth belongs to everyone you deserve a part of this earth you deserve to be happy you it's here for you you have the power to create your own heaven on earth earth a gift to us just look at the beautiful plants like right now so today's um, September the 31st and um, I want to say it's September the 31st um, or if not it's October the 1st um, right now the monarchs are flying all over my garden so I'm getting a beautiful view and just sit there and relax drink you know your water like I told you guys the other day turn on the sprinkler if it's warm enough still we got this take in the rainbow let nature serenade you and know that yes you have the same opportunity to make your own reality as anyone else everyone has the same opportunities and you have the capability and ability and it, it, it's a gift to you whatever you want to create believe in it work for it and do it and another thing I wanted to tell you, when you're drinking these, because I put the crystals, and if you notice, I put the long crystals, because I don't want the marble crystals, because I don't want to as I'm drinking, start choking on myself. So you can either uh, pour it on a crystal glass or on a glass and just drink. You can put all the three of each, you know, like a little bit of the root, a little bit of this, a little bit, and pour it till you have a glass and drink it. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, you can try to get a little stopper as you drink so that you don't drink the crystal. Uh, I personally haven't had a, a, a problem. I'm very careful and my mom always taught me to drink like <laughs> like I'm blowing on a harmonica. My mom always taught me to drink that way. So um, 
you can drink it this way and so I hope that this helps you guys with the balancing of your chakras uh, and I keep it in my kitchen I keep this in my kitchen you can keep them by a window uh, to continue to allow them to charge um, if you'd like but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you with balancing your chakras remember there's so also personality traits that if you might want to be working on you can drink this for your health to balance your chakras uh, you know there's also uh, meditations that also have um, like work on your solar plexus then you can go ahead and drink um, this shine the yellow light on you put a uh, so train and listen to the meditation for balancing your solar plexus so that way you're really getting it in there and really balancing your chakras so i hope this helps you guys and i want to thank you guys and thank you to all my subscribers i'm really happy i see my subscribers growing and i just i just feel so blessed i really do uh and there's been a lot of changes going on. If you know, there's uh, this awakening, spiritual awakening. We're all moving to a, a different level. I was feeling so sick just last night. I'm like, I'm so sick. I'm, you know, it's like where you feel tired of being sick. And, but my daughter and I were talking. We're talking to the angels. And they're like, well, guess what? This is going to happen. It can last a year. Uh, but they're like, the rewards are worth it. And guess what they told me? They're like, eat nachos. I'm like, gotta eat nachos, I guess. I love nachos and fish. Um, so I want to thank you guys. And um, I'm going to post a video of me. I just did a beautiful painting. And I want to share that with you guys. Um, what else? I am, I know I said I was working on a meditation. I did have it. I almost finished it. I wasn't happy with it. I'm being guided to add more to it and I really like the way this one, the imagery and the words that I'm being guided to write, it's sounding more from the soul now which is important and so anyway I want to thank you, thank you to my subscribers, you guys mean the world to me, take care and thank you for watching, don't forget to share, like and subscribe you guys, take care. Bye.